Good morning. My name is Ed Drain, and I am the Chief of Police for the Plano, Texas Police Department. And I would like to welcome each of you to our 2020 Peace Officer Memorial Service. We'll start our service off today with Plano Police Department Chaplain Robert Matthews leading us in an invocation. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? Heavenly Father, we come to this solemn occasion. We ask your guidance as we remember those who have given their all the call of duty. We thank you for each one of these 20 human beings who have sacrificed themselves to protect the public. We think of their families today, the spouses, the parents, siblings, the children, and we thank you for their steadfastness as they continue to grieve the loss and remember their loved one. And we grieve with them. And we lift up each department as they are each a family unto themselves. And we realize that they are grieving as well. So Lord, you tell us that you are the God of all comfort. And so we ask you to comfort each one of those who are participating today, who are remembering today. We thank you for each life and for the times that we had to know them and to be with them. And we commit their families to you and we commit each department to you that we would have fewer and fewer of these deaths each year and that you would guide us with safety. And I pray these things in your name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Matthews. Today's date, May 15th, was designated as National Peace Officer Memorial Day in 1961 by the U.S. Congress and signed into law by President John F. Kennedy Jr. And this week is recognized as National Police Week. And usually during this period of time, law enforcement agencies across the nation hold ceremonies to honor and remember those who gave their lives in the line of duty. This year, however, many of those ceremonies have been canceled due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. <clears throat> Here in Plano, in previous years, there are typically hundreds of police department employees, uh, honor guards and officers from other police departments, city council members and other local politicians, and the families of fallen officers gathered with us for today's ceremony. However, today, our ceremony consists of Chaplain Matthews and me. Although the mayor and the city council could not be with us today, the mayor did provide us with a proclamation for today's service. The proclamation should be on your screen, so I will only read just a brief portion of it today. Now, therefore, I, Harry LaRosselier, Mayor of the City of Plano, Texas, do hereby proclaim Friday, May 15th, 2020, as Peace Officers Memorial Day in Plano, and May 10th through 16th, 2020, as Law Enforcement Appreciation Week. I also want to commend all peace officers, especially the Plano Police Department, for their dedication and service. And I do thereby encourage all citizens to join me and the Plano City Council in honoring courageous peace officers everywhere. Signed, Harry LaRosselier, Mayor, City of Plano. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we appreciate that. And we know that you and the other city council members would be with us today if you could. Circumstances beyond our control prevent us from gathering to honor our heroes as we have in the past. But here at the Plano Police Department, we have recognized our fallen brothers and sisters for almost 40 years, and we believe it is important that we continue to do that today. It is important for the public, it is important for the officers currently working, and most of all, it is important for the families of our fallen officers. Officers who gave their lives in the line of duty are embedded in our memories, they are embedded in our hearts, 
and they are embedded on memorials in our state and national capitals, and we shall never forget them. Ashley, Cora, and C Caitlin, we shall never forget your husband and your dad. Nicole, Emily, and Grace, we shall never forget your husband and your dad. Teresa, we shall never forget your husband, Jessica, Charity, Garrett, and Taylor, we shall never forget your husband and your dad. We shall never forget any of our brothers and sisters who sacrifice their lives in the line of duty. We have abbreviated today's service due to the unique circumstances that we face, but we will continue our tradition of today of reading our honor roll of Texas peace officers and federal agents assigned to Texas who died in the line of duty in 2019. Last year, as Chaplain Matthews mentioned, there were 20 officers who gave their lives in the line of duty. 18 of those were Texas peace officers and two were federal agents. At this time now, I will read the names of the honor roll of Texas peace officers, line of duty deaths, in 2019. Supervisory Deputy U.S. Marshal Norman D. Merkel, United States Department of Justice, United States Marshal Service, end of watch, Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Ray Elwin Horn III, Kamal County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Thursday, January 17th, 2019. Community Supervision Officer Russell Dean Salazar, Kendall County Community Supervision and Corrections Department, end of watch, Thursday, January 31st, 2019. Border Patrol Agent Donna Marie Doss, United States Department of Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection, United States Border Patrol, end of watch, Saturday, February 2nd, 2019. Police Officer Nathan Hayden Heidelberg, Midland Police Department, end of watch, Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Peter John Herrera, El Paso County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Sunday, March 24th, 2019. Police Officer Albert Ramirez Castaneda, Jr., Grand Prairie Police Department, end of watch, Friday, June 7th, 2019. Sergeant David Jones Fitzpatrick, the Colony Police Department, end of watch, Monday, June 10th, 2019. Corporal Jose Luis Esper at Huerta, Mission Police Department, end of watch, Thursday, June 20th, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Carlos Aaron Ramirez, Kendall County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Jose Luis Blancarta, Kenny County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Friday, August 23rd, 2019. Trooper Moses Sanchez, Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas Highway Patrol, Saturday, August 24th, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Sandip Singh Dollywall, Paris County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Friday, September 27th, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Matthew Ryan Jones, Falls County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Friday, October the 11th, 2019. Sergeant Christopher Charles Lewis Brewster, Houston Police Department, End of watch, Saturday, December 7th, 2019. Sergeant Kayla Marie Sullivan, Nassau Bay Police Department. End of watch, Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. Police Officer Jose Umberto Meza, Burnett Police Department. End of watch, Friday, December 20th, 2019. Deputy Sheriff Brian Charles Fluger, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office, the end of watch, Saturday, December 21st, 2019. 
Detective Clifton John Martinez, San Antonio Independent School District Police Department, end of watch, Saturday, December 21st, 2019. Deputy Sheriff William Christopher Dickerson, Panola County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, Tuesday, December 31st, 2019. With Blake Ammunition, low. That concludes this portion of the ceremony. Uh, I would like to thank Chaplain Robert Matthews for once again supporting our ceremony today. And this is a time when we really need chaplains, so I would like to thank him and our entire chaplain corps for all the support that they provide to our police department and to our community. And I would also like to thank Plano TV Network for their help and creativity in putting this ceremony together. Thank you for watching.